I read here for the first time last week. And uh, they had car problems. And I took it over to a friend's house, Mike was videoing it. Who, after he met me last week, he told me he had a butterfly experience. And it was a beautiful butterfly came over. So he's fixing my car, and his butterfly shows up. And he said it was the same one. And then he crawls under my car, and anyhow, I go, Hey, Mike, the butterfly's on my finger. And he didn't believe me, so I had to bring it over to him. And then it flew away and it came back and landed on my uh, foot. And then he has some videos, if you don't believe this, it came back and then landed on my pants. And then the election turned out to be a butterfly ballot, so I felt this was great. And uh, some of my friends, I'm going to actually read your press release before I read the butterfly ballot. Uh, from some friends that are organizing a coalition to uh, abolish the Electoral College. A coalition is being formed to press demands that the Electoral College be abolished by the next Congress and that George Bush instruct his electors to vote for the winner of the most popular votes in the presidential election, Al Gore. The late Mayor Daly of Chicago was fond of explaining to reporters that the reason that certain candidates don't win was because they didn't get enough votes, said Jan Tucker, spokesperson for the coalition. That used to seem simplistic, but with George Bush getting less votes than Al Gore and still winning the election, it looks positively brilliant. Uh, in Berkeley, Alan Moore, member of the city's Peace and Justice Commission, will help to organize a Bay Area effort. Local members of the newly forming Performing and Fine Artists for World Peace, which Moore is also spearheading, will lend their support to this effort, and a rally and concert is being planned. Moore worked with Tucker once before when he led the effort to get Berkeley to endorse an initiative to reform the Three Strikes Law. He has placed the initiative to abolish the Electoral College on the agenda of the Peace and Justice Commission, which will meet in North Berkeley Senior Center at 7 p.m. Monday, December 4th. Anybody here wants to come there, they can speak up. Moore said, I think it's interesting that they are calling the chaos surrounding the Palm Beach vote the butterfly ballot. This is not only because of the form of the ballot itself, but because the results are fluttering back and forth, just like a butterfly, and no one could appreciate this designation more than more, as he has a deep appreciation for butterflies. The butterfly is not only the symbol for chaos, he says, but of my organization, the Butterfly Gardeners, Gardeners Association, which I founded in 1993, to begin a renaissance of the environmental movement with the butterfly as its logo. Okay, this poem is was anonymous, but it was sent to me. It's called God, Are You Real? God, Are You Real? The little child whispered, God, speak to me. And a metal lark sang, but the child did not hear. So the child yelled, God speak to me. And the thunder rolled across the sky, but the child did not listen. The child looked around and said, God, let me see you. And a star shone brightly, but the child did not notice. And the child shouted, God, show me a miracle. And the life was born. But the child did not know. So the child cried out in despair, Touch me, God, and let me know you are there. Whereupon God reached down and touched the child. But the child brushed the butterfly away and walked away unknowingly. And I got one more. All right, Mark? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. This is called Moment. Two small white butterflies settle into their own moment. 
the male, lighting without fuss on the female, perched along the flat pink petals of the cuckoo flower in the ditch, beside the road to leather track, and she holding on as he reverses directions, as they take to each other, facing opposite ways, green spines aligned and delicately connected, his wings fanned open, her shut fast like hands.